Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. Going on another Chapter 5 run today. Avoiding the corpse light for as long as is allowed to me. Although we are very, very quickly running out of options. Speaking of options, an option I simply could not pass up on today in the form of the Breacher Jester. Going to be trying our damnedest to uh, build into some pretty strong finale plays early on. Trying to upgrade this skill really early on this time as well. I got the Physician Plague Dock here with Danger Copter paired up with it to try to take advantage of the emboldening vapors. Given the two strength and the speed should make for some uh, some fun encounters early on. Also fun for us here is the Bloodthirsty Tempest Leper up front with the Braggart. Kind of giving us the defensive measures to deal with the uh, vulnerability of that Breacher once those block plus tokens are gone. And then to just kind of further address that ourselves a good old-fashioned wanderer man-at-arms in the back rank who weirdly seems actually pretty damn fit for this position in his default build obviously giving up pretty much all of our offensive capability with him but trading it off to ideally make the others a little bit better off here we'll see how it goes it, it, it feels like a bit of an abnormal build for me especially when chapter five is the asking price for this squad but uh I'm just curious enough. We'll see how it goes. You came here seeking solace, but found stagnation instead. No drip equals region one death. We do have the drip. They're just all on their normal. They're they're on their default drip. You can feel it. A change in the air. Which it doesn't feel like those two words should be combined with each other. Yeah, you got the wanderer, the wanderer, the physician, and the tempest. I did it right. Even Don't put that hex on known. me. The spreading thing. I haven't earned it. Oh, that daze is going to be a problem, though, right? Yeah, man. I do forget he starts with the strength tokens off the Breacher as well, so... Maybe he doesn't necessarily need the, uh... Emboldening up Vapors upgrade we can rely that early on. Upon each other. I do like the Defender on him once we get through the block on him as well. And there's a Pip early on, too. Nice. Yeah, Hospital is definitely going to be a big priority this time around. 9 to 20 damage with the chop. Prior to even arriving at the first in is pretty remarkable. There's an unfortunate start for this lot, though. All right, so in these situations, I guess it makes a lot of sense to just go ahead and buff him up regardless of the blind. And then we've got some damage coming out of her from the Noxious Blast, of course, so it's not like she's totally helpless in those ranks either. Yeah, I guess the Leper would be a little bit better off with the Vapors, wouldn't it? Well, he's got those ones he's using early on. I don't mind that one bit. With the Strength. He's got the Razor's Wit ready to go this time around. He's also got the Encore here in case we ever want to double down on the Leper's effect in this up front. But this does feel like it's going to work pretty well. I can always rely on the first fight to... Uh, Give me a pretty good idea of where we stand with our lot, or with our group. And this one feels pretty damn good. Although I don't love how much damage the Leper was already able to take here. I feel like I could stand above his HP a little bit. Especially if he's going to be our primary tank for this team. Greater threats await those who dare. Although arguably he's not. He's kind of the... Well, it's, it's like a 1A, 1B situation, I guess, where we can just kind of trade it off where we need it. That's true, he was vulnerable a lot for that too, which I guess that's the trade-off with Bloodthirsty too, but I think it's probably worth it. Hell, that's probably in that like S tier of come here in summers of years works at this point for me. Write, think, and, rest. and this is one of the better times to have improvised strategy for sure, man. Love this. We're gonna save this for later for sure. I don't mind having the experimental re uh, experimental remedy either. Okay. Here we go. The first of many forks in the road. Choose your path and ride out unbowed. We didn't get that meaningful of a piece of stagecoach gear, did we? Yeah, with the leaf suspension here. I feel like we could probably go for the naked and afraid. It is a maze as well, unfortunately. Not the best options early on in this one. The shrouded coast. Isolated. And drowning in empty. 
Maybe just deep generously. And our starting trinket kind of left a lot to be desired today, too. I was considering using the, the uh, Shambler spawn to go along with this to enable it a little bit better, but I don't know, man. This one just... It feels like one of the worst unforgettable trinkets. I don't feel like the the DOT piercing is worth the trade-off of just getting debuffed constantly. Spend what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. I believe I had decided to go for the despairing flare today. Lower positive relationship chance and lowered max flame. Heroes gain negative tokens on melt meltdown. Enemies gain crit and advantage chance. So that's what we're going for. Let's do it. And what pet for today, if not the Shambler spawn in it? I feel like it's been a while since I've brought out the Crimson Tick. We are going to be doing quite a bit of shuffling with this team, actually. Just the Jester alone, he's going to be moving on pretty much every turn. Although I guess that is essentially it. But that might be enough. Croc doesn't need a lot to become pretty significant. We know we're gonna be, we know we're gonna be moving. I think I could do that. I don't see anything that's that's much better in this situation. Let's do it. A little crocodilian action. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Pick me is still open as well. If you want to be chosen here, we get our bounty hunter for region one too, so we'll snag him real quick. We're gonna leave the leaf suspension off so we can. Well, I mean, honestly, do I really care about this? Chance to produce woven items, luxury gear isn't really going to matter for us. How much do I care about that, though? Either way, it doesn't really matter that much, does it? Okay. Oh, very true. Yeah, I hadn't even thought about that. If we move the Jester from the front to the back, we'll immediately benefit from the Breacher giving us the Crocodilian buff. Very true. We could grab... The thing is, like, let's maybe just get the Shroud Almanac and then ignore the region goal. Although that is a bit of a... I didn't realize that was 40 baubles. Yeah, I don't think that's actually worth it. It's pretty nice, but I don't want to spend that much on it. All right, we've got enough food here. Let's get the whiskey barrel. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. I'll grab the pipe weed as well and... I do feel like we should get either Glimmers or Tonic, or maybe even both. Let's get one of these, just to be safe. The means of mastery. All right, and then we're going with the finale early on just to get the execute. And then I think... I don't think it's Emboldening Vapors anymore, actually, although that would work pretty damn well with the Leper, too. What would it be, then? Fade to black I was going to do for the combo application. That's still pretty good. Yeah, bolster's always nice as well. Do I really think I'm going to be doing this? I have two strength tokens with Breacher. I really want to try it. Like, on paper, I feel like that's really good. Start with the fade to black, give himself a combo target, and then immediately follow it up with a finale that are both strengthened. I think I'll swap There's out the no man at arms for this as well. Mask. Mostly just Only because this is thought. not a necessary component as far as I can tell at the moment. Amateur weaponsmith ain't bad. Got a utility belt for the range boy as well. That's pretty nice. Flashbang, hurl bat, and cow trips. We can get all three of those involved right now. Okay. And we'll get the Mark for Death as well. I love that one, especially with this situation. Who is that bounty hunter going to be? That's crazy wacko right there. Welcome on in. Finishing off with our stagecoach, Yo Yossarian. I think that's a fitting livery for you. Viridian Birch. Welcome on in. There we go. Crocodilian. Stagecoach, bounty hunter, get them fed, and ready to rock. Keep all that stuff for later. I'm up to battle gear as well. All right. 
I'll do it, man. Let's rock. Certainly not going to be eager for a Leviathan fight here, nor am I ever, to be honest. That's got to be my least fought boss over the course of our hundreds of hours of DD2. Propriety floats listless on the tide, brined in noxious degradation. And that ain't about to change today with a node one layer. Yeah, no thank you. I'd like to avoid that. I'd like to get to the hospital right away, in fact. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna hug a quick left over here, if you don't mind. It's a fun fight, yeah. I just... I rarely feel I'm actually prepared for it. Welcome back. Voltrum! Yeah, it's, it's pretty intimidating. I tend to avoid it... Unless I have the, uh, the, sea. the move resist, we turn them to it. which does make it a hell of a lot easier. Thank you for the bear hugs. Thank you, Pond, for getting the Gamba going as well. Appreciate it. All right, so ideal situation for the Jester. Obviously, it gets a lot better for us once those days aren't a factor anymore. But he will attempt to fade to black, probably I'd say just like the strongest enemy there is. And then follow that up with a finale in round two. The slow suffering begins. And as far as the others go, I do think ounce of prevention is a fine way to start off just about every fight. Empowered, emboldened. It's a little more DOT resistance. A couple other buffs. I feel like withstand's a fine way to begin things, too. More or less prevent the possibility of him having too many DOT problems, and then let's see how this plan goes. So we've got the combo, still got the strength there. Doesn't have the speed, obviously. But I think he's fast enough for us to... Ooh, yeah, that's fine. Especially... Oh, I forgot to move the Jester to the back for the Breach or two. I gotta remember that for next time. Yeah, this guy's gonna handle her on all on his own. Now we're gonna go ahead and test that theory, brother. That's looking pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. I'll just embolden him up front a little bit. See how that goes. It'll be worth it to huck out a hue. Fair enough. So we're going to be doing a lot of marking, a lot of buffing. Hopefully not have to do that much healing. It's looking like it's going to be a little worse off than I expected. I don't know this team is unfortunately kind of fragile. Agony by accumulation. Even the Jester doesn't have a ton of hit points, so... It be a concern for us moving forward here. Well, I like that play. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so he's already able to crit for 43 damage. That's uh, that's promising. Oh, that's a good point, too. Yeah, I would normally have the Man-at-Arms to guard for this. I'm going to be applying combo like crazy, which ought to help us out a lot, too, actually. I'm going to maybe start considering getting some speed tokens going on. I don't have a Jester of the Plague Doc here. Let me, uh, let me give her a chance to fix things up a little bit. It's a bit too much bleed right now, I'd say. Let's get the Battlefield Medicine done real fast. And she should be able to get the Indiscriminate Science done that turn as well. Let's try to mess up this dude's day. Yeah, that's going to work out pretty damn nice. That's probably another bleed. And apply it judiciously. Don't have the withstand, unfortunately. I'm starting to think maybe the... Uh, Purge might be a little more worthwhile here than I expected. I guess I kind of anticipated the bounty hunter was going to solve that problem temporarily, too. Well, then. If you're going to be like that, jeepers. It's a bit too much bleed, ma'am. It's a bit too much bleed, ma'am. Impeccably timed. Right out loud. 
I certainly don't need a reflection on the way I've got this thing equipped still. That ain't gonna do it. Yeah, it'd be nice if Tempest increased the hue damage too. I suppose there's not a lot of reason to keep that equipped either. Decent trinkets to start off with there, though. Don't mind that. The loathing abates. Seaman's boots. See? Men's boots. I can get the block tokens going on him from that one. Get the additional speed on this guy, I guess, is fine. And then. Let's see here. I think we'll swap off these two for the purge and intimidate. I like that a lot. Okay, there we go. Myriad options require careful deliberation. I did finally get my uh, Shambler plush ordered, Apollo, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. We'll soon occupy the the plushy shelf behind me here. Get this rightful spot the by the uh, darkest dungeon diorama. Looking forward to that. All right, yeah, move the jester back. Thank you. Almost forgot. Did forget. Swiftly reminded. Okay. Once we hit this hospital, though, things are gonna take a serious uptick. I think. Why are we gonna be like this, y'all? Come on now. We gotta take these fights early. Ooh, did that give us the buff though? Crocodilian? I think so. Just an unfortunate outcome from it. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Let's see, this is gonna be obviously the biggest problem right now. I might just have to go ahead and start with a uh Start with the finale here because that should be able to take him out. Ooh, that's convenient, thank you. Can still withstand from that position as well, thankfully. Please don't generate a dodge. No. Oh, I thought it was transforming already for some reason. No, we're good. Okay, cool. Uh yeah, I might as well just do that. That's that's gonna do it. That's gonna heal for two. Let's go. Say that's well deserved. Yeah, you were in that two stress heal for sure. Okay, he does not have any up close moves, so just a real nasty shovel for him or shuffle for him, unfortunately. And stupefied. Let me go ahead and hit him with that. No sweat. He's already stunned. Not much more to do with that, buddy. And does the Encore make sense here? I think so. I think it do indeed, because we got ourselves a big old hurl bat. And him with that double hurl bat, brother. Man, those dazes. Is that every round? No, he just keeps getting dazed. Oh, right, yeah, the Encore too, of course, that's gonna do it. We will have that effect. I'm going to be operating with a rank 2 plague doc a lot of the time as well, aren't I? Which is unfortunate for the battlefield medicine situation. I hadn't really considered that. Hmm. Okay. Well. A righteous action. I'm going to be done about it now, I guess. Well, I could do something about it. I just don't feel like it. Still do that at least. It's better than nothing. Bye bye. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. This feels like it's doing pretty well so far, and I also feel like this is the kind of thing we could probably do pretty well with the man at arms in that fourth rank too. The loathing abates. Not a bad find for the plague doc there. A little buff to the healing given, I'll take it. Oh, the cash early, nice. We have enough relics for the hospital here too, right? Yeah, we're good. Certainly help. Maybe stab instead of noxious blast. I mean, I was considering just having both, actually. Stab, unfortunately, is made a little bit worse because of the uh, physician path, though. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well worn relics. Huh. The loathing whispers. There's bleed piercing. I just did something like this, maybe. An elementary problem, is it not? 
Yeah, not a great region for fleet either. That's a good point. I think Noxious is also affected by the path. Just less so? I have to look at it again. Been a while since we've seen a collector, right? Uh, yeah, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I've not been taking trophies early on in these Infernal Flame runs. At least not nearly as often as I typically would. Bounty Hunter is pairing quite well with this leper here. Pretty will do that uh, emboldening on him and then get the mark down. I mean, it's kind of unnecessary, I guess, against enemies like this, but it is nice to see that is going to be an option in the future, although unfortunately not this particular time. God, yeah, that daze is just so frustrating. Let's see. The enemy weakens and wanes. Yeah, I do wonder. I feel like the... Uh, I feel like the incision is probably just not necessary because we're going to be going with the Noxious Blast almost every time we have the opportunity to be offensive with her. I think the ounce was actually giving us some value, especially if I can find better ways to uh, utilize that, aka like trinkets that go with it or something. That is a big if, admittedly. Well, so far, it's been a pretty effective option for her. A petty hindrance. Good enough. down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. I do always like seeing big numbers. Yeah, that doesn't that always never fails to make me feel better. Reach your den up ahead as well. A lot of fights into this hospital. I guess we will be good and ready for it now though, ain't we? Get rid of that. Thank you very much. And no need to be spending precious relics locking things in yet while we're this early on. I'm pretty sure we can rely on the uh, quirks to stick around for a bit. Last run I decided to use Sickening Radiance and realized for the low price of worries, you can make your man-at-arms and leopard go toxic and give folks six blight. You know, that's... The more people talk about it, the more I think that is just a trinket that I fully... I have not misunderstood necessarily, but just, like, did not understand the uh, potential of. I'm beginning to think I'm going to give that another try if that happens to cross our path again. No, I like the braggart on the leopard. On the leopard, uh, Abathur, I'm pretty sure that's helpful to us. Good time for a scrap grenade. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. I have a scrap. On to the next. Yeah, letter, letter Kenny dialogue is fully poisoned my mind at this point. I'm avoiding it now. How are you now? Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and make life a little worse for you, I guess, in the back there. And I like the withstand start. This will be fast. There you go, brother. Yeah, I suppose so long as you're able to get a good disease, that is a big part of the uh, equation there, isn't it? You don't want to be dealing with, like, dysentery and losing HP constantly the whole while of trying to blight folks. I think that's what that one is, right? They falter. So press your advance. Okie dokie. I like the solo here, actually. I ought to be doing the solo more, in fact. Come to think of it. Because it not only adds the crocodilian buff, but it also puts our plague doctor in better position. I don't really want the jester to be staying in the back. That's our solution. That's what I've been missing here. We found the last piece of the puzzle, and then we can start emboldening him once he gets back up to that front rank as well. Oh shit! Oh shit! A 
another impediment cleared with impunity now well, this is starting to feel right oh, damn that's a lot of damage for him to deal in that position too holy shit okay okay let's see here Get another glimmer out there real quick and then might as well try that yeah we want to do a lot more solo a lot more razors wit with him especially with the combo application obviously from that as well starting to feel a lot more enthusiastic about this. Okay. Let's see if we can't go ahead and get rid of a couple of block pluses from you up front, my friend. And then, yeah, I think we can solo again pretty happily here. Let's just clear dodge. Get the combo applied. And then I might go for the mark again right here. That should allow for a vulnerable. And the combo. That might... Oh, that might be a big execute, dude. Ooh, 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 that sounds like fun. That sounds like exactly what I'm looking for. Take care of the combo from you to get the blank going, and then if we can... Oh, that's on cooldown, though, right? Of course. Okay, that stinks. Let's take a chance on this. Yeah, that's fair. So, I mean, it still might actually work out here with the strength token alone. Let's get the withstand going so he doesn't get fucked up anymore, and then he's going to need a little healing, I think, in a second. Let's see what this looks like. 17 to 22 is a good chance. Let's go. Oh, that's fantastic. Might even be able to purge that away before he gets a chance to munch the corpse, too. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to work out that way, but that's still pretty damn satisfying. Um, yeah. I was going to say it's pretty not, probably not going to work out. Okay, he's gonna need a solemnity in a second. That's not looking very good either. Try the stun on this dude. That'll work. Yeah, you gotta help out or help yourself out, don't you, friend? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I feel like let's do this. I think the plague duck should be able to get an opportunity. Oh, the daze as well, though. Damn, I forgot about that. That would be able to either encore. Or just solo up front so we'd be able to use the Plague Dock's Battlefield Medicine there. She does still have Indiscriminate, which is going to heal him up quite a bit. Oh, yeah, there we go, man. Especially with that Protectorate. That's actually making a huge difference right now. 7 to 11 is pretty damn good. I'll take that. Now a Solemnity? Oh, he's not quite on the threshold. That's bad. I don't like that at all. Let's see if I can get rid of this corpse. Okay. That feels a little bit better, too, at least. We can still Encore here, although we still have to get into position to be able to do the uh, the Battlefield Medicine, so let's take care of that first. And that's plus 24% damage on the Jester. That's actually kind of crazy. And continuing to buff it. Even more reason, obviously, to continue to use the Razor's Wit and the Fade to Black. Oh, man. It's all... It, it's so satisfying feeling the pieces slot together properly here. This wound, at least, has been tended to. Oh, true. We hadn't even upgraded an indiscriminate science yet. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is going to get really good. I am pretty stoked about this now. I feel like we could go a little quicker in the turn order, couldn't we? Ah, damn. I need another battlefield medicine here. This crit looks like a good way to go ahead and send that spider to an early grave. Don't love that. I think we should probably just go ahead and clear that, though, and then we'll get another science ready for you. Yeah, the croc is really working out here. I'm a big fan. Oh, I didn't just give him the chance to munch that, did I? Okay, thank goodness. I really did. I got pretty lucky, I think, with the turn order that time. There we go. Creature Den Mastery. A little stress re relief off that at the end. I'll take it. Down, no sweat. Off we go. Still got the wheels here, too, so. Get that travel recovery going on him. You will fight so that others may flee. You know it, brother. No warlord, thankfully. Okay. I do feel. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I, I think it just mostly depends on the situation for us here. If it looks like we've got the opportunity to take one out early with the finale, I think we just go ahead and send that. But if I th if, if we'd be better off building up to it, then we'll go that route, I suppose. 
Six fights in a row on this path. Yeah, I wasn't stoked about that, but it did feel like the best way to go about it here. Hopefully the mastery points will pay off. So far, I feel like we've been doing pretty well with that, too. Yeah, and definitely withstand here to protect the Jester for a little longer. And it's an unfortunate weaken, obviously, but it should still be a pretty solid finale up there. Man, they are getting some pretty good rolls so far here. Max value out of those blocks, that's for damn sure. 11 to 14, not feeling fantastic, but that feels a little better. There we go. We'll take that. Now the emboldening vapors are not fantastic. I suppose maybe we'll just have to start slicing up the barricade here. That doesn't really feel good either, though. I think we just got to take a chance or two on this. And let's see, maybe. Oh, that's not going to work either, damn it. Okay. Let's just start trying to wail on that guy. That's a great result, too. Okay, nice. Solemnity's not quite going to heal either, unfortunately, so I guess we just need to go for that. Ooh. An opportunity. Squander. That would have been pretty good. Okay, well, maybe just go ahead and help him out a little here then. I mean, six mastery points in a row. I wonder what the actual odds of that are. I wonder if we were to like act, like look in the game's code for the formula, what the chances would actually be of doing that. There you go, brother. Okay. I feel like you can handle the bleed all right. I'm gonna go ahead and Oh, this guy. Yeah, no, I think. I think we better do that. Right? Yeah. Damn thing eventually. Yeah, no dodge either, that sucks. We got our battlefield medicine now, at least. I actually kind of feel like the Jester needs it more in this position, though. And finally take him out. Well, then this lasts a lot longer than I should have. But at least we have this solution here. And the finale might be up again. Let's just embolden one of our boys up front. Just open some kind of option. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do. Ah, no luck. Ooh. Okay, do I want one more of these? I think so. Maybe a little too greedy, but it's going to pay off. I can do this as well. He might get stunned up. That move, there we go. And that little delay might afford me uh, some necessary healing here. Yeah. We have fully cleared off our uh, stress, though. That's pretty dope. And a, an appropriate finale. And a pit to boot. Mastery, some nice combat items at least, though, I'll take it. I'm just going to toss that thing, too, and I'm not going to use that at any point. Just stay ahead of the inventory nonsense. All right, certainly the node will yield goodies, though, right? Can't do a node fight and not get a mastery point. That's against the rules. I just decided. You better give me a mastery point. This absolute nonsense. What the hell? Yeah, here with this tomfoolery. I'll tell you what, we got an emboldening here? No, we do not. But, white chance is pretty good. It looks like the bleed is a little better, but it's not a lot of bleed. Not that I guess that's going to make a big difference. In fact, yeah, I think just trying to get... Big shot early is our best bet. I think we just have to accept that we're not going to kill one. We have a daze on him, too, obviously. So let me look at the damage here. It's possible we kill three. And I think that's got to be the best way to go. If I, if I just take a chance on the leper's blind shot here, 
Although he might not even have enough damage coming through to block, huh? Yeah, that sucks. Eh. Let's just anticipate a double transformation here. Ooh, hold on. Steady yourself. Hold on. Hurl bat, maybe? Flashbang stun? Oh, only stuns on combo, right? Yeah, it's just gonna blind. That's not gonna work. Well, here, let's just do this then. Well, this one's already transformed. Let's just make it easy on the leper, I guess. Oh, what did he get? Leprosy. Yikes. That's gonna be something we're gonna have to remove. Big shot, brother. Big shot. There it is. Not even worried, dude. We got two lepers now. Hell yeah. All right. Obviously, the stress is a little concerning here, but I think we'll be okay. Never bolster anymore. I just realized that hasn't even been a problem so far. This should be an easy kill, though. Yeah, it was a pretty straightforward fight after all. Take heart and do not relent. No mastery. A lot of relics, though. That's pretty nice. The loathing of bait. Yeah, yet again, we need to get to a hospital for this jester. <laughs> Lepers like you can remove it? Yeah, it's a very simple treatment. Nobody told you? I thought you were a king. There, now this is one where we should probably have an option to uh, do a quick finale kill, I imagine. Well, that shuffle one bit either, actually. This wound at least has been tended to. Yeah, best of the man at arms on this one. 16 to 20. And we'll do it. Early results are encouraging. And if the hurl bat doesn't have the damage here, we'll probably just go with the no escape again. Ah, bummer. Alright. I really should be marking more targets for him to early going here. I suppose the withstand isn't really too big of a problem either. There should be a Jester Trinket that works like the Bounty Hunter's hit list, but it's plus 3% damage for each finale kill. I really like that idea. That'd be a lot of fun. It certainly incentivize me to use it more. Oh, how about it's for every finale execution, specifically? Because if you're going to make the kill list an, an item that you can bring beyond a single region, I do think you have to make it, like, a lot less powerful. And that might be a way to do it. This is really unfortunate. I think I just have to move him forward. Call it the showstopper. That rules. Yeah, I love that. Let's see here. 10 to 16. Yeah, it's pretty good. We can make an easy target for the leopard, too. 1% per executed finale kill. Like, he's got to be targeting something with death armor. Giving us an awful lot of free damage here. Oh, it has been a little inconvenient. All right, well. The Leviathan's breath. Let's get that finale air. buff going, huh? Oh, just kidding. Cool cooldown on that thing, man. I think I want to try to make that a little better, actually. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Okie dokie. Man. Reprieve until the next test is put before really did you. think we'd maybe get a little luckier with the mastery points here, but so far not so much. I get out of here with four, it looks like, which isn't terrible, I guess, but the many fights we took, I thought we'd be a little better off. Okay, let's see. I do really like this, especially while he doesn't have his blind. Well, those block plus tokens obviously make things a little worse, but we can mark again with the Jester, or with the, uh, with the Bounty Hunter here. And then, yeah, this is less impactful, too. So here, let's do the double mark. We'll go with the block clear, the combo up front, and then we'll go with the mark for death. 
in rank two. See how that treats us. Yeah, unlucky. Okay. Maybe we just go for this then. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's pretty effective. Miss it. Whoopsie. Okay. Totally fine. No, she's got to go. She ain't allowed to take a turn no more, sorry to say. Oh, does that mean I think I Razor's Wit, don't I? Yeah. Just keep her in, or keep him in finale range for now. That's all good. I probably just keep chopping that. Or I can do this. That's actually a good mark target again. But that's probably her best move anyway. Oh, the knockback. Oh, sh oh shit. That's going to be extra helpful for us with this build now. I didn't even think about that. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, we're going to get continuous crocodilian buffs from getting knocked back on all of our attacks. Nice. Let's get the stand going here, too. Oh, man at arms is my boy X. Oh, I'll refrain from showing it off this time, but I've got some lovely custom artwork from Darkest Dungeon art director slash creative lead Chris Barasa. Provided me with some dope man at arms art with a little custom bear taffy shield, so I am I am forever a man at arms boy. I am forever a boy at arms. Stun him up. He's got a crit here. Where are we taking the lowest or the highest percentage gamble with this? I guess the guaranteed damage is probably best, even if it's not fantastic. But I want to try to kill him. Gotta just, you gotta try. 25% chance to do a murder? Give it a go, at least. Oh, boy, that's getting worse. Hmm. This is the last fight in the region, so I don't think I need to worry so much about the stress. Finally getting this tan or uh, the finale off here. There we go. And a little blight up front for you, sure. I'll do it. Try to stun there now. Unfortunate. Miss it. Thank you. No need for solemnity here. Well done. There we go. No worries on the stress front. Do not like that. Wish you hadn't done that, buddy. Especially because we need to kill you before you explode. And that seems like it might be difficult right now. I was really hoping that would happen, especially with the stun. Thank you. That's fantastic. Do a quick two damage up front, and then that'll be much easier. In fact, here, let's do... Well, no, I guess we don't really need to do that, do we? Just get the combo on him with the stun. We should be fine. In fact, let me do that for you, my friend. No option for that guy. And then fade to black? Sure. Leopard doesn't even get to do his finishing move, huh? One less obstacle in our path. Not the bounty hunter feel important for the end of it, I guess. And no unforgettable trinket. Damn, dude. The loathing whispers. I like exploding. How many times a day do you explode, Bear? That feels like an appropriate question to ask. I need you to take 10 to 15% off of there. Haggard, tired eyed, all are welcome here. It's usually like eight, nine. Always, always feels nice to spontaneously combust. Usually save it for the weekends, but I'll have a Monday, Tuesday explosion every once in a while. Rest tonight under the mountain's unblinking gaze. All right. Insignificant quirks, I guess. We've got the work table loom. And a mastery point. Thank you. All oh, right, yeah, that's from the deliverable. I forgot. Rain, All right. Fire and rot. Is there no sanctuary from this madness? Into the sluice we go. Get that coach repaired. 
Man at Arms is back. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. We are getting all the signature in items, aren't we? Yeah, that's the third one. What kind of rules? Oh, and look at that. Some gnarly knuckles, too. Interesting. And a pig sticker encouraging us to go with our sluice pursuits. There's a lot of baubles, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Well, that certainly means we can grab those then. Such power in such a little thing. I want to grab the meditative totem, I think, too. I can't remember who I wanted to use that on. I guess I didn't really do that. Yeah, it's not necessary. <laughs> oh, that's true. With the despairing flare, the trinkets that activate below a certain flame threshold are a lot more tempting. Gaining stealth on crit for him is really nice. The additional crit chance on the combo target. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. Normally I don't really look at these with a lot of interest, but that does fit the build quite nicely. Let's snag that. Get this, get this, get this. How much food do we have? We got a lot of food. I think we're doing okay. We'll give him the good stuff here and then we'll just buy more food at the next end. Trying to get a lot of these relationship things here. Let's get to work on that. Yeah, exactly. We'll almost always be below 40 here, so... Should work pretty well. Man, that was a bad whiskey barrel. That sucked. Oof. Got a resolute off it, and everybody's just in neutral now. Ah, oh, boy. Well, here, let's go with whoever's the highest. I think it's Play Dog Man at Arms. Let's see what we can do with that. That's nice, at least. Let's try one more. Let's try one more. Okay. That'll work. Get you fed. Get you fed. Big boy's looking nice and healthy. 60 HP on him does feel quite nice at this point. And then... Yeah, I don't think we need to spend anything else on the relationships at the moment, although I don't really necessarily want to hang on to everything there either. Let's just build... Let's get our Jester Leopard going a little bit more, I think. So I feel like they're going to interact pretty frequently. Let's see if I can get this up to friendly here. I wouldn't mind necessarily dropping their speed a little too. Yeah, let's do one more on them. Okie dokie. Oh, I recommend it, X. I'm still having as good a time with this as ever, and I'm really enjoying having the uh, vitrine One to try to fill as well. When survival demands it. It's been fun to have this additional goal going on in the background. Alright, so there's our quote-unquote necessary upgrades. What else am I considering here? I thought about maybe going the chop route. I do want to go with those emboldening vapors as well, especially to take that cooldown away. Let's go ahead and do that now. And command is not really necessary. Retribution would be decent. Defender's pretty good. Defender we're going to want to upgrade soon. Although that is obviously getting a lot better once we have the strategy active. I wonder if I can get two of those. That'd be pretty sick. I think we go with the Fender a little later. Solo's going to be a nice one at some point, too. But I do think the Chop, especially with him getting Gnarly Knuckles now, I feel like that's probably the way to go. I guess the Bouncer's Belt would be pretty good for the Man-at-Arms right now as well. Just slap that on him. Minus 10% damage per negative token does not negatively impact him at all. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Off to the sluice then, I guess. I don't really care about either of those, so... Away we go. 
See if we can make some moolah, dude. No relationships is probably ideal, I guess. This leper's doing like over 100% chop damage now. He's got the Tempest buff. He's got the Bloodthirsty. He's got the Gnarly. Tread carefully and quickly. So yeah. This is swine country. I want to say that's 85%? 75%. Right? 20, 30, and then 25. I'm pretty sure for the Tempest Chop. Then of course that's upgraded now too, so that's even better. Chapter 5 here, Vincent. Chapter 5, Despairing Flare. Exclamation point vitrine, I believe, will tell you that we are 27 out of 45 on the progress there and slowly making our way. Fully filling that bad boy. Thank you very much for the fragments here, too. Ooh, I don't like that, though. Oh, right, the croc damage, too. God damn, yeah, so that's going to be an immediate plus 3% before he even gets a chop off. Probably even more than that. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of that actually late, uh, lately, Leo. Trying to reroll towards the stagecoach to get some good stuff. 15 to 20 out the gate. Best of Virginia. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for the bear hugs. Welcome on back to the pile. Thank you for 13 months. Just over a year. Appreciate you. So now... This man at arms would be a lot better for us if he were actually able to apply combo. And he can't do that at all, can he? Apart from something like a strategic withdrawal? I'm beginning to wonder if he's not best suited for the f for the back. What if we what if we swap him and Plague Doc, and then we start applying strategic withdrawal combo a lot, and that's how the leper benefits because the leper's going to be emboldened a lot of the time, especially if we do a first action finale. I guess right now. A bellow's not bad. Defender's fine too. But I think that's going to be our best me uh, best bet moving forward, and that also provides us more um, more crocodilian benefit. We're getting another mobile party member. God, that is fucking wild. Sixteen to thirty-seven. Yeah, command removes the blind, so that's like... I, I should be doing that more, too. Oh, right. Speed removes days. That's pretty sick. We want an encore for the chop as well. Thank goodness. This team rocks, dude. Seeing them in their in their standard form, I'm quite happy with this. God, just like non-stop and bowling papers goes crazy. And then just shout at her. God, if he had a corpse clear, he'd be incredible right now. Consider a few more purges. All right, let her have it. A simple variable, easily resolved. And still no mastery. Let me try this out for a round or two. We're gonna swap off the bellow for the strategic withdrawal, and we're gonna swap these positions and see how that goes. Could run Mag Rain on the dock. Very true, actually. Yeah, I like that a lot in place of the incision right now, because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be using that at all. Can we give her some kind of... Yeah, we give her the clasp knife. That's not really going to matter. I don't actually want that equipped if she's not going to use it, though. 
Yeah, I don't think her bleed piercing is that big of a factor right now. Welcome to the bear pile. Vincent Vega. Ooh, nice. Get the candle trade here and the pips. Bear hugs for the brand new sub. Thank you for the uh, prime there, Vega. Appreciate it. Oh, damn. This ought to be fun. Lethality writ large. This ought to be a good time. Oh, not as not as much as I thought. Well, yeah, obviously the block tokens are having something to say about that. Let's give this a try. Ow, boy. All right, all right. Take the damage buff, I guess. Could have been more fun. 21 damage, pretty damn good for a chop still. A breakthrough. That ain't bad at all. We're gonna be going for those strategic withdrawals. Work out pretty good. Yeah, that was the initial plan was to try to get the fade to black combo tokens applied a lot more often, and obviously that's gonna benefit the leopard too. I think this is gonna work a lot better though. I think having combo application from both the jester and the man at arms is it's kind of the route we need to go here. Welcome back. And let's go ahead and defend her and let's just play this smart. Welchins! Another Prime. Keep the bear hugs coming for him, please. Thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Glad to have you for the live stream. Um, we want to do something to you eventually, obviously. Well, he's more than likely just going to get that corpse. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's make sure he goes down nice and quick. We're really not getting the right in order for this. Not only are we not able to stop this guy from getting a snack. Well, actually, no. Okay, here we go. Because that happened. That does actually enable us to more than likely but deadly all the same. fix this a little bit more quickly. Hmm. Okay, so then retribution back there while we have the defender on her does make a lot of sense as well. Problems have their solutions, even the big ones. What's been really nice about this is that I haven't felt like I've wasted any turns so far, which kind of feels like it can happen a lot with teams like this, where you're trying to do things in a particular order. But I feel like they've managed to... Or, like, we've managed to put ourselves in a position here where there's almost never a wrong move. Which is pretty sick. Although, right now, I think I'm kind of changing my tune on that. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember Magrain is a good corpse clearing opportunity as well. And that's, uh, that's another thing the positional shifts are gonna be important here. We're going to have to, um, well, speaking of being able to do something effective every turn, we're just going to have to make sure that I keep that in mind for when we uh, are starting to get the kills and creating more difficult situations for those lepers and man-at-arms and sitch. All right, all right, we'll get a quick bolster before we get out of here. Probably Solemnity as well. Might have to slow down and think about it, which sucks, obviously, but... Eh, you do what you gotta do, right? A calculated hey, Marsh. That went really well, though. I mean, a fight like that in the sluice is not a given. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. I think they might have been ordained, too. I didn't actually look, but... Either way, yeah, no, they, uh, coming out of that in basically untouched condition, that is pretty outstanding. And I think using the Defender so frequently with the Man at Arms is going to be the way to go. So much so, in fact, that I'm pretty sure I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that skill coming up here. So that is going to be, like, especially if we start using the Retribution fairly regularly, too, that's going to be pretty outstanding. We're getting what we want here, aren't we? Yeah, keep it up. Keep it up. No ordained boys this time. Oh, 
the slow suffering begins. Would Rampart help with positioning? Yeah, not a bad idea. I'm starting to run low on things I'd want to give up, though. Weirdly, I think Command actually might be the thing we give up now if we were to do that. Because I think I've essentially replaced the need for Command with Strategic Withdrawal. Which is very interesting. I'm loving these turns where he doesn't have the blind on round start as well. It's working out splendidly. Let me go ahead and embolden the friend. I guess we want to hold off on the mag rain until round two or three as well. I suppose the dodge or the dodge clears are pretty nice for that, but in, or in general it feels like it's probably better off for me to keep that as a corpse clearing option. No, I didn't actually uh, keep any memories from the last squad. Which I suppose I should have for the for the Crusader now that I think about it. Can't remember if we were actually building him back up though. There you go, buddy. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, give it a try. Nice. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. Yeah, I am I am loving the, the control game we're playing with this lot right now. Feels like it's going really well. Yeah, sounds good, Ink. Ah, with only man. Yeah, actually, I'm starting to think Leper, or sorry, not Leper. I think uh, I think Rampart's the way to go. I think you're right. Of course, that just gives us more Crocodilian potential with this team as well, which is pretty awesome. There's the Magrain, I guess. Yeah, there's just there's a ton of defensive potential with this team as well, which kicks ass. I mean, just, like, look at the state they're in right now with the Leper not even withstanding. Like, imagine a withstanded Leper with the dodge from the Solo and the Jester up front, and then the Man-at-Arms with an upgraded Defender reposting for the Plague Doc. That is, like, an impenetrable lineup there, which sounds like the way we should go. Apply to attack or win hit days. If any enemy has days, additional debuff resist. That's not bad. I could go for that. Let's save these smoke bombs for later on as well. And we'll hit the candle path, I guess. All right, yeah, I wanted to swap those skills. Yeah, let's give this a shot and see how it goes. That's some pretty solid combat items already, too. Things are uh, looking pretty good so far here. Yeah, the Sluice Trinkets get a huge upgrade with this Infernal Flame. It's kind of nice. Ooh, speaking of kind of nice, all right. Big pig! An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Instant Sluice Value. And the Rousing Recorder ain't bad either here, actually. Let me go ahead and slap that on our man at arms real quick. An elementary problem, is it not? Oh, and look, another one that benefits from our flame. Never have to deal with the debuff there. That's pretty cool. We're never hitting over 75 torchlight, obviously. The tangled trails, whisper of torment. Potential synergy with the ba oh, with the days for the ooh, you know, you know what? You know what? You're not wrong about that. Let's consider a bash here. We can maybe do some double days stun games. Seems like the right time, or the right time to try it out. Okay. So what does our ideal start look like? If we're not going with the Magnesium Rain to begin with, then we more than likely go with the Emboldening Vapors on the Leper, which means that we want a Finale in order to open up a Strategic Withdrawal from him. Although if he acts first, obviously that complicates things. What if, in that case, we go for the Fade to Black, and then we can start with the Retribution? Oh, hell yeah, Marsh. Welcome to the Suffering. That's a one-shot, right? A 
promising development. That's still pretty damn good. And then we can just go ahead and stand with him up front as well. It's not a problem. Again, so long as we're not wasting turns, I feel pretty good with just about anything. We can try to bash up front on him as well. Although the immobilize isn't ideal, I suppose I just realized. Yeah, I don't know if I want to deal with that very much. Stress is getting up there, too. Let's go ahead and get that combo rocked. It's okay. I would just much prefer that the solo be an option still here. Although I can always just shuffle back and forth between these two as well. It's the fact that that immobilize is likely to stick around through two actions on the gesture here, as you can see. Which limits his crocodilian potential. Rampart will stun off the combo as well. I gotta keep that in mind. Our damage output is looking pretty awesome now. Big fan of that. Alright, good stuff. Bolden for funsies. Alright, yeah, he has death armor. I guess I could solemnity here, though. Just kidding. Bye-bye. Oh, come on now. Too freaking stress added off of that. Not even a mastery point for trouble. Bunch of nonsense. I mean, obviously, it's still pretty productive sluice anyway, though. I think we have one more node. Pretty sure we have one more node. Nice. Shambler, right? Gotta be. I don't know. Some food? Some tin delicacies, maybe? Ooh, and Nocturnal! A wonderful quirk to grab in this situation. Not only a Breacher, but also dealing plus 15% damage and plus one speed. Again, essentially forced there, considering the uh, flame we're rocking, so... Love to see that. Sweet. Good sluice. Oh, yeah, I still gotta get rid of the leprosy, too. I forgot. The heart does much for the weary body. Oh. Even more, perhaps. Oh. For the restless soul. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter on you. Okay, cool. Where are we going? Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere in need. That's okay. It's not any better than anything he's got right now. This is like a little bit better than the Seaman's Boots. I don't really want to go back to the Shroud already, though. Uh, I guess we'll go Feather here. That's fine. The tainted crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot and pestilence. I always love carriage lamps. And we got enough food again here. We got some food anyway. Spend what you can, uh -huh. for wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Always snag the death cap spores. Take a songbook here, a couple of pipe weeds. Now we got a full inventory dam. Okie dokie. Well, we know we're gonna go with the big pig. Just a matter of when. Grab those guys. We got the pipe weed here as well. Not able to afford that though. Hey, Mordica. One learns quickly when survival demands it. Hmm. I like the rampart upgrade for the stun on uh, no, combo target. I think should be able to use that pretty well. And how are we doing on these thresholds? I think we'll probably be probably be best off using the songbook first on Leper Plague Doc. Nice. And we'll see what this does. Bitchin'. And then we'll see where the thresholds are at for everybody. Leopard Jester we can push over with a whiskey flask. We'll go on the ground. And then I think there was another one there, right? Yeah, Leopard Man of Arms. Let's do this. 
beat DD2 this weekend, only have about half the items unlocked. Candle progress still very slow in my opinion. Yeah, I usually cap out like 60 or 70 candles on a good run. Which, if I remember right, is not even enough to unlock a, an entire single character. So, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. It's a bit of a grind. Let's see. Quick reminder, only 20 out of 20 relationships matter. It's not quite that bad, right? Like... Yeah, I know the despairing flare makes it so the positives are pretty unlikely, but at least the 19 has a 22. Because we have some other stuff going on. We have the stagecoach thing. We have a couple of quirks as well, like the sanguine. Man at Arms just got Bone Vivant as well, which is boosting him a little bit. Obviously still, obviously still best to cross thresholds whenever possible, but yeah, you're right. There's... A lot less chance for it now. In fact, we ought to probably go ahead and just boost up Plague Doc and Man at Arms to full to give us a chance at it. Just kidding, but we can't do that. Sweet. There we go. Now we got a 50% at least, which is pretty nice. And we'll probably just save the other whiskey flask here, I'd say. Because thankfully we don't have a chance for a negative on anybody, I don't think, apart from them, but it's pretty low. Nice. All right, that's pretty good. That'll work. After the feather, then. Oh, man. Actually got it. While the heart still beats, desire will never die. Yeah, honestly, it's usually almost entirely about keeping them out of negative relationships as opposed to going for positive ones because it's rare that we even ever get like a huge advantage out of that anyway. The rancid crop grows unchecked. And the porrent. Trinket check? We need a combat item check real quick here, too. Keeping the spores, get the glimmers in there. Herbs on bolt is probably best here. There we go. What were you saying about this, Fed? No, you were saying the, the rousing ringer. Apply to attack. Oh, yeah, I should swap these two. Yeah, that's a better idea. You're right. Okay, cool. Right, because that'll get a lot more value on the man at arms. We don't need a hospital anymore apart from the leprosy, right? And I'm wondering if that's even 100% necessary to get rid of. Hey, Carl. How you doing, bud? Look, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but I am going to have to just murder your friends up here real quick. Although, actually, come to think of it, Carl, you'd be a pretty tasty, uh, tasty morsel to finale back there, wouldn't you? Oh, he does have double death armor, though. I want to lock in the breacher. It could get removed here. Eh, I'm not, I'm not super worried about it, honestly. I think I'd be alright if the breacher would go away. It's obviously very fun, but I feel like we could probably put together a functional team without it, too. Did he have speed there? Did I embolden him? I did, didn't I? I just completely forgot about it. Whoopsie. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm going back and forth on Rampart and Command. Because obviously in that situation I would have much rather had the ability to command the leper and not done the retribution on him. Now, well, now I'm going to strategic withdrawal, right? Yeah, I mean, he is blinded again, though, unfortunately, so maybe I can just do something like this. Hmm. I mean, on paper, Rampart is going to get more value for us. An opportunity. Squandered. And this retribution is good, too. Hmm. All oh, right, yeah, cool. Let's get the DOT removal. Yeah, let's keep trying, I guess. I mean, every now and then we might just go with a 50-50 in it with him, and that's okay. But the more that we can stop that from being necessary, I think the better off we are. Well, let's just get his death store activated, I guess. 
Yeah, that's very true. We don't want the man at arms in rank one because it's messing with our entire order here. Because now we can solo happily. Although I do kind of just want to kill this guy if I can. But we got a nice leopard chop combo here too. I'm gonna even get the blind off of this one. There we go. That's the stuff. That's how you do it, brother. And we instantly mag rain that shit and say goodbye. Oh, damn, they'll burn, though. Although that does just let us solemnity, so I suppose I'm better off for it anyway. Thanks, buddy. Right. Friggin' days again there, and then we get ourselves a little bit of flight. That'll do it, buddy. That'll do it. 11 damage ramparts kind of crazy, too, actually. Scavenge what you can, and be off once more. Yeah, let me try... I don't know, man. I did just upgrade the rampart, too. It's tough. I think if we can get a little bit more control over our speed... No, it's not the, really the issue, though. It's, it's the fact that our decision up front is not a given. It's it's conditional. Your path lies through them, and so they must fall. We have two different ways to approach combat in the beginning, depending on the layout of the enemies. Because in situations like this, I think it's fairly likely that we actually have the finale damage to just take something out early on, like this. So when we do that, Let us hope to finish this quickly. This build works perfectly. Well, obviously, especially when we don't have to deal with the blind in the beginning. But in this situation, we more than likely go with the strategic withdrawal, and then we have a perfect combo uh, shot with the leopard. But now that he doesn't need that, I guess we can just go ahead and retribution start as well. Or arguably, even Rampart is still pretty good here. Just to get more shuffling done. But we also don't want to put him in the front, right? Right, we've got to remember that, too. If only we had one more skill slot. God, yeah, the amount of times we've said that... Real nice. That's a lot of blight there, too. Goddamn. Love rolling the dice on the big chops, baby. Hell yeah. Another two down. So press your advance. And yeah, I was gonna say, if he ends up taking another shot here, unfortunately the blight's not gonna take down, so I can't give him the battlefield medicine very effectively here. That's a nice mag rain, though. Alright, and then, yeah. Strategic withdrawal, I mean, that combo doesn't only help him as well. And then, solo to enable the battlefield medicine there. We got the taunt up on him, so we're good to go from that one. Fade to black for the blind, I guess. And there's the heals. Suffering from success, yeah. DJ Cal would be proud of this run. Miss it. Whoopsie. Still no stress on the leper either. He's killing it. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. Poison ring isn't useless. Probably a little bit better than the recorder right now, actually. Let's do that. Oh, right, it requires a noxious item, though. Which I guess we could just equip the death cap spores for now. Yeah, good enough. Oh, I need to get rid of some shit. Let's do that, and then that, and then that, and then that, and then that. There we go. Easy. Hospital for the leprosy. Ugh. How many relics do we have? Not enough. No need for Hoarder here. It's probably not a bad idea to fight the Harvest Child with this lot. This Harvest Child Hunger actually benefited, benefits us heavily with the Crocodilian. We just gotta try to get some Holy Water or something. Obviously Death Cap Spores help a lot with that too. One shot, one shot. 
promising development. Heck of a way to start things out. Okay. Do I even care about these glimmers? Not really. So, withdrawal is best. Incremental. But deadly all the same. And then we embolden. Get a pip out of it. Love to see it. Okay, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's gotta be best. I think we have the right kit. I think this is all going according to plan now. This road cannot be walked alone. Yeah, that's a heck of a way to heal up the jester, dude. God damn. Nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and defend her, actually. Well, she can't battlefield medicine up there. All right, he's getting low enough to where I might want to go ahead and consider a solemnity, too. Let's see if he gets to the threshold from the bleed. Does not, but we can taunt at least. Stall things out a little longer, I guess. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Yeah, why not? Some teams feel like doing a puzzle and fitting in all the pieces. That's what I was saying earlier, yeah, is it feels like we're finally working out how we're supposed to do this. And we're getting more and more solutions, or more and more uh, pieces to the solution as we go. All fixed. This wound at least has been tended to. And just holler at him for funsies. Yeah, you know what? Why not? And a zero. He's gonna let me, I might as well. Might even battle him in this one again? No, not quite. Alright, good enough. A righteous action. That'll do. Still not a ton of loot, but. Alright, yeah, we're hitting this fetter, man. A little bonus speed on the way, and... Might even be able to maintain this block, actually, which would always feel good getting into the lair with that. Kind of shape and play. Twelve relics for some goodies. A whole bunch of torchlight. This is nearly everything we have, but... Ooh! Ooh! Worth it! Take that trade, dude. Hell yeah. Don't need the tracker's map. Probably don't need the recorder anymore. That'll work. Let me swap these two, actually. I think it's a little more important right now. Unless we just refilled the torch. Watchtower time. Well, we get to know at least whether or not we're going to be able to maintain those blocks. Pig big, yes sir. Alright, come on. Let's see a... Uh, See uh, an oasis. No, actually, you know what? Give me a hoarder with 95% uh, discount so I can buy some holy water. That'd be sick. Creature den. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, I probably should. Crow's feet will certainly help me out with that. You know, yeah, give him some good combat items real quick here. We'll sort this out. Get this done. Your collection can wait. Press onward. We need to keep the noxious though for the blight, although that hasn't really been that big of a factor, has it? Just use those for this thing. Actually, I kind of need those for the boss. Eh, we'll just keep all this stuff. Yeah, we're probably fine. Yeah, it's probably worth it for the mastery points. We're certainly getting a lot of value out of those on this run. Although it's up to them, really, isn't it? And they're down. They're into it. Off we go, then. Ooh, an excellent use of the crow's feet. Speedy spooters. Welcome back. X, Mr. J. Thank you for the 53 months. Long-term prime support. Welcome on back to the pile. Appreciate you very much. That's a heck of a way to start this off, huh? Nice. Uh, we go ahead and mag rain. Third corpse and a couple of dodges out of that. 
Viper still gets that excellent crow's feet utilization. And then goes ahead and chops up a spooner. Hot damn, dude. That's not a bad start at all. Get ourselves a little combo applied up front. A little sweat. Fast, fast acting in this one, too. Nice. Tough acting to act in. Boom. He's got his target sorted out. I could do this. It seems like fun. And he's basically dead off that. I like that a lot. Uh, how about I feel a little bit of a stand there? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. And let's see. Razor's Wit deals some serious damage there. I could just solo again. Though. Let's keep getting those damage buffs going with Crocodilian here. We are in a creature den after all. Might as well take advantage. Buffing him up, brother. And let's see here. What can we do? Solemnity's not going to matter too much. I mostly just want to avoid adding another uh, blind token here. So let's get rid of the corpse, I guess, and then that guy's going to burn out. No sweat. It ain't going to matter. Blight's not a problem. We're emboldening again. And probably going to want to go ahead and clear that blight next round as well. Man, this is fun. I'm liking what this team's got going on here. And there we go. Clear away to the next set. Still got the crow's feet here, too, to clear those dodges. Let's go for it. Hey, that'll do. That'll do just fine, brother. Get him another combo. Excellent. Battlefield Medicine, heal him up up front. Look at this. Oh, going according to plan here, man. Another dodge cleared out. As directed. Another dodge cleared out. No sweat. No sweat. God damn, dude. Handle that with very little issue. Another finale ready. Send it. So damn close on that one. I think Magrain might be back up. Yes, sir. Holy cow. Look at that poison ring blight in the back. Love to see it. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm liking this a lot. Let's see here. Yeah, it's not going to need to be necessary. Might as well defend. Hopefully get another Battlefield Medicine off on him. I'm not sure he's going to be on threshold, though. Can make all the difference. Yeah, let that Razor's Wit land pretty substantial damage on the final Spooter here. Yeah, this team synergy kicks ass. I love it. It's been a lot of fun. Bye-bye. Look at that. No stress. Hardly worse for wear coming out of the creature den. Another couple of mastery points and a discount on the combat items. The loathing of base. No loathing. God damn. Not going to lose the block coming up on the lair here either. This is doing pretty damn good, I got to say. The worst kind of parasite. Opportunist. We have been getting fairly lucky in that we haven't been seeing a lot of ordained enemies so far. It's definitely helping us out with the quick kills. It's leprosy on the Jester, which I haven't really been worried about too much. That's another easy mag rain, I'd say, although I like the emboldened too, but this is a little bit more effective, I think. A slow dissection. An unavoidable aim. And while he's able to just go for the chop and not really worry about the result to build around it too much. And we'll go for the draw here, too. Oh, is that... He gets a dodge on the repost attack. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Okay, let's see here, buddy. Let's go ahead and do that again. Already bring up a little bit. And try to stun. Or just, you know, also maybe kill him. That'd be nice. Here, you go ahead and take care of that for me. Appreciate it. And see what this does for you again. Yeah, that'll work. He seems to like critting those. Greater threats await those who dare. Still no mastery, though. Making quick work of these fights, at least. Still not 100% sold on this team's viability for the Harvest Child, but 
Yes, I, I never really am, am I? Flavor that grows up from some nightmare pit far beneath the earth. Tempest does at least have some pretty strong debuff resist, so we'll benefit a lot from that. Yeah, maybe we'll get lucky in those. That's an unfortunate draw. Here's some more Dane, folks. Matter of time, I guess. There's that double blind, so we're going to want to make sure we actually get a combo target for the leper this time. That's actually some nice bonus damage there already for him. And with the leper acting first, I think a purge makes a lot of sense here. I do kind of want to take a chance on just chopping this thing, though. Yeah. Worth a try. And remember, we've got the... Uh, we've got the gnarly knuckles on him, though, so there's always a bit of a risk. Let's take away this corpse so that this guy doesn't get his Biolus Cannon or whatever the hell it is. Just make sure the Leper's got something to do next round. I think I'll probably solo this guy, actually. A trifling matter. Ah, I should have been ready for the Mag Rain there, too. I didn't think about it. Boldening all day. Yeah, I was going to say he's more than likely going to go for that now. So we've got to try to put ourselves in a position to be able to blind him here, I suppose. Although the solo at least does give us the dodge and a pip, which is pretty cool. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, no worries about that anymore, at least. And then let's, go, let's just get a retribution out there, too, I guess. Yeah, that works. Again, and that's another situation where I feel like the command is probably the better way to go. At least we are going to get a combo applied to him again from that. Ooh, yikes. That sucks. Yeah, I probably just want to shuffle there. I want to make sure he gets his chop off this time. And defender on you. That is the upgraded physician emboldening vapors. Yeah, that is the entire reason we've got that plague doctor in that path today. Because the upgraded version of that skill kind of kicks ass. Obviously, especially when you've got the uh, relationship buff on top of that. God, I really wish sometimes the man-at-arms had encore. It's like the only thing that I could imagine being better with this team right now. Oh my god, through the damn blind and dodge and applies the DOT there, that sucks. Let's just go ahead and allow the Plague Doc to... Oh, no, that's not going to let the Plague Doc fix it, but that's at least a big heal off that still. There he goes. Oh, I could have stalled for his Solemnity there. Oh well. We are the flame. Burning brightly for all the world to see. Anchoring charm not really doing a lot of good for us right now, I don't think, so we'll go ahead and let that go. Alright, a couple of smoke bombs, got the death cap armor, and then probably want to use like the tonic or something here, maybe even medicinal herbs for this fight. That's some pretty good uh Actually, you know what? Let's get the smelling salts in here. I think it's a lot better than the herbs right now. It's a pretty good set of combat items for this fight though. Where'd they go? Oh they there. Yeah, four smoke bombs is going to help out a lot for this. And then if we can avoid the hunger at least a little bit, especially on the leper, who, again, should have a pretty good chance of resisting it. The loathing whispers. I think we'll do pretty good. You know what I need to do more of, actually? Let's use these smoke bombs on the putrid meat. Somebody recommended that in the comments not too long ago, and I think it's a really good idea. I almost always smoke bomb the baby itself, but I think smoke bombing the putrid meat is going to give us a much higher chance of not having that interfere with our plans. Try that this time. Because, yeah, we can set up incredible leopard chops in this situation. I think we should absolutely uh, shoot for that. Definitely try to get our stress lower before we get out of these first two fights as well. All right, so while he's not in the front two ranks, obviously that changes things up a little bit for him. I do feel like I could solo to begin with. That's a strong idea. Even more uh, crocodilian damage out of that way as well. A little bolster here, unfortunately. Oh, very true. Yeah, we can bash to be able to immobilize him and make it so he's the only target for the putrid up front as well, which is obviously better for us given the fact that he's got that debuff resistance. 
Chop away, brother. Chop away. You know what? That's fine with me, because I got their other two. Got the other two sorted. Yeah, that's a bolster target for once. There we go. Nice. Oh, I forgot about that move. Son of a bitch. Not inspiring tune equipped here either, unfortunately, so. I'll tell you what, I think we just go ahead and say see you later. We'll fix the stress next round, it's fine. Take the easy dub there. This looks like an easier team, actually. Ooh, don't do it again, though. Thank you. Thank you very much, because I wanted to do that. Appreciate it. That's a clutch crit there, actually. Well done, buddy. Just get rid of her right away. Any move, man. Any move in a storm here. A simple kindness. Take whatever buffs you want to give me. It's going to be another one-shot shot, most likely. Fantastic. Elementary. And then so long as we can Solemnity at some point here. Uh, let's see. Let's actually just purge this. 12 damage purge on a corpse is ridiculous. Because uh, I'm wondering... I can probably get a Solemnity off. So long as she doesn't go too low. Out of stress there too, though, son of a bitch. Well, at this point, then, I wonder if maybe I just want to try to, like, get her to five. This doesn't trigger the repost. That's pretty nice. Double speed token is a lot of fun. How's this damage look? Eight to 19? That's not going to do it. Get rid of your buddy there, and then we'll see what's what. It's starting to feel like just, just playing for the final Solemnity here is going to be the way to go. I don't think I'm going to be able to heal her anymore either, unfortunately. The enemy weakens and wanes. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's still so silly to me that they can trigger Repost while stunned. But yeah, it's about as good as it's going to get, I guess. All right. Yep. All right. Good enough. Even uh, land a quick little kill from this as well. Okay, let's do it, man. Harvest bounty, not terrible. Kitchen knives actually decent for the plague doc here too, especially with that being a noxious trinket. All right, gonna need to see some bear nana in chat. The harvest is here. Pity those with a place at the table. Here we go, starting off with the death cap spores and to remove the armor there. Let's get the strength on the leper. Unlucky being able to apply some smoke bombs to the meat early on, unfortunately. Very lucky to resist both the hungers, though. Okay, I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and apply this to you. And get the fade to black. Get the combo in the blind on the harvest child. Nice. Okay. And I like what stand early on here, too. A little more DOT resistance on front. Here goes the taunt on him. That's pretty damn good. I could stun the Harvest Child. Oh, shit. That's a lot of fun. And even knock him back. Damn. I like that. Okay. That does mean I'm taking a gamble on this, doesn't it? But I think I'm okay with that. Definitely going to want to avoid that situation, I suppose. Let's go ahead and use this last one. Okay, good. Emboldening again, or maybe we could start trying to blight now. He does have a lot of blight resist, though, so... Probably better off just going for the strength a lot of the time here. I think we just Razor's Wit here to apply the combo. Could even solo, actually. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Oh, that hunger 
sure sucks. Oh, but I could stop it. Let's do that. Maybe even knock him back. There we go. He's gonna pull him forward here with the hunger. And sadly, that does get it rid of the combo token again. That's a lot of stress on her too, that sucks. And then obviously that prevents the hunger from being an issue there as well. Okay, this fade to black now, right? And then, yeah. Because he's going to pull forward, and then he's got it. Nice. That's all we needed. Excellent. No worries on the hunger there. I can embolden again. Here. Which is pretty good. Get another combo applied. I could also knock him back again, actually. He's gonna do the maws anyway, though. I might as well let him do it while it's blinded. That makes the most sense. I'm lucky with the blinds on the meat so far. I wonder if we can make it so the leper. No, he's got. No, he doesn't have speed this time. I might be able to make the leper or not suffer from the hunger again here. The stuns on the Harvest Child, dude. God damn. That's been pretty sick. We solo again. Let's go ahead and apply this to the meat, ideally. There we go. Nice. Another buff from the Crocodilian there. Ow, oh, I didn't think about that, but I guess I can just shuffle back and then that puts him in a spot to be uh, effective. But it could also just withstand another time here, I guess. It's still emboldened here. Yeah, that's probably fine. Oh, he's on cooldown. Damn, okay, that sucks, but we can't do that here. That's not bad. All right, all right. Man, I'm going to have to get a defender on her. She's getting beat up. I can't believe how unlucky that's been. We applied three blinds, and none of them worked. Sorry, four blinds. Three of them so far have not worked. Good God, dude. All right, I'm never doing that again. Fuck. <laughs> that was completely ineffective. Uh, I got one blind at least. Oh, he doesn't have his combo anymore, though. God damn it. Oh, fuck it. One more time. Let's see what happens. 40 damage even without the fucking combo there. Wow. That rules. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to defend her, finally. Owie. Owie. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> That'll work. Good fight. Good fight. Trophy acquired. The loathing abates. All right. So I guess we're giving out the Protectorate for you, since this is actually a pretty nice combo, even if you're not really Blight-focused. Um, so that's just going to have to go now, I guess. I don't think I'm going to be using the Cleaver here either, so we'll get rid of that. Probably not using Strange Sapper. Uh, herbs, herbs, Laudanum. And Pouch of Lie, I guess, can go now, and then get rid of the Candles here. And that thing, and that thing. There we go. Good enough. It's a simple choice. At least it should be. Yeah, dog. Y'all deserve some loot after that, no doubt. Get that cash, brother. Nah, rings enabled from the other trinket we got now. Kitchen knives are noxious. So we're good to go there. Ooh, linens ain't bad either, actually. There we go, dude. Oh, you're talking. Sweet. More food? Ooh, is that a... Oh, it's a minor dam. Eager to ply his trade. Merchant's Guild, not bad, though. And we just did fill up the inventory again. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Uh, Android you. Alien! Welcome back. Yes, thank you for the two years on the pile. Appreciate that. Welcome on back in. Thank you for the bear hugs for him. 
I don't need the bread anymore, actually. Yeah, we'll get rid of these. God, that's a lot of stuff. Um, I'm actually pretty glad for the harvest bounty at this point, I guess. No more smelling salts and... Yeah, get rid of the calming incense, too, I guess. Did the jester really just say live, laugh, love? Well, now I feel a little bit less bad for not removing his leprosy. Live, laugh, love, leprosy. That part's always cut off at the bottom. Oh, come on now. That's no fun. You know he's my favorite starting character. Victory supposes strategy. I'll cut that out. Bear, I'm so sick. Please help. You'll be fine, keyboarder. Builds character. See? Look how much stronger you are now. As a result of almost dying. There is comfort in company. We'll just go ahead and protect him a little bit. Clear that. See you later. My nose just finally opened up after being sick for five days. Ooh, I love that feeling. Here, let's all just revel in it together for a bit. Ready? Oh, and my apologies to the people whose noses are fully plugged up that I just made incredibly jealous. Because I, I, I know that feeling. That's a good one. Weaken them that another may finish right, the you work. Go ahead and stop bleeding out for me. Appreciate that. That's a little bit better. Now we time? 50 50? Yeah, try it out. Nice. Get the pip out of that too, hell yeah. Hit it. This leper doesn't know what a chop that doesn't kill someone feels like. He's never experienced that in his life. He's not honestly sure that's a possibility. I don't think he knows that that can happen. Take heart and do not relent. Still no mastery for it, huh? All right then. We live in the big bonk era. Yeah, you thought you were free from the bonks. Not today, Buster Brown. At least they're agreeing on stuff. Girl! All right, this definitely feels like one of these uh, fade to black first situations here. And then we're emboldening. It's just, ugh, God, there's no, there's no good way to do it when we do it that way. That's the issue. That's That's, that's been the prevailing concern is if we opt for the fade to black start, then the man at arms... Oh, I guess he does have the limits here, doesn't he? Yeah, but otherwise... Otherwise makes things a little bit more complicated. And yum, yum, yum. Delicious. Thank you, guard. Uh, might as well keep using those, huh? That's still pretty good. All things considered. I was complaining a little bit, but... That does appear to be doing the job just fine. And, ooh, look at this. Beautiful. What comp did you use to get all the five acts with the same team achievement? I don't actually remember. But deadly all the same. But maybe someone else does? You'd think that would be stuck in my memory, but no. Okay, bye-bye, buddy. Thank you very much. Buster still ain't doing jack. Don't love the stress situation we're in right now. Have their solutions. Even the big ones. We want to just maybe go ahead and solemnity real quick. I do not remember the dream team. I know, yeah, I feel a little bad about it. I feel like I'm disrespecting him. Double check though. 
My guess would be it probably involved a plague duck. Gun to my head, I'd probably say like a plague duck, a man at arms. Maybe an occultist? I kind of doubt it. I feel like it'd be too risky. There you go, buddy. Have fun with that. I agree, yeah, it would be really nice to be able to use Rampart and Rank 4. It'd certainly solve a lot of the problem we've got with him right now. Commit to the full guess. All right, so it was probably Plague Doc, Man at Arms. An inkling of potency still. It might have just been Leopard. It might have just been this team. Relics. Was it this team? I'm gonna guess it was this team. Or something pretty damn close to it, probably. It was not. All right. I'll take the L. I did have a Hellion, really. Of all characters to have in, a, in an attempt to keep they have nothing all four alive for five consecutive Ws. Oh, a Flagellant. Yeah, I did forget about that. I probably had a Flagellant, didn't I? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Probably a Deathless Boy. A scourge action. Your comp was play Dr. Highwayman, Crusader Man at Arms. I like that a lot. That checks all the boxes for sure. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, it's got to be this, right? Oh, but the oh, there we go. Weirdly beneficial shuffle. Oh, God, fuck you. Come on. He has linen still, right? He has one linen left, so let's go ahead and let him take care of that. Knock out this lady up front real fast. You had a cultist, jester, duelist, man. You had a duelist? Oh, my God. That's wild. Ah, the block plus, son of a bitch. I mean, ah, this comboed. Yeah, whatever. Still a pretty solid shot there, I guess. Does have speed too, so that should make things a little easier to deal with here. And then I think I should probably bolster it about that time. It's gonna be death's door here at least. That feels pretty good. That doesn't. That doesn't either. Son of a bitch. Oh, this is where we wish you had incision. God damn it. Oh, that's so frustrating. She's gonna be able to heal back up, get the death armor and crit. Because we don't have an incision. Oh, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. All right, whatever. There we go. Now I'm the block plus target. At least that's better. And that does enable another bolster, weirdly. As does that. Ow. You guys are being assholes. I don't like what they're up to at all. Here, tell you what. Do a strategic withdrawal so the leper can actually do something next turn at least. There is comfort in company. A little laudanum back there. Oh god. I don't think we're gonna be able to avoid the uh the worship right now. Unless I can stun? And withdrawals off cooldown after that. Maybe. Oh, turn order here, though. I really didn't expect him to move first. That sucks. Yep, that's going to fuck it up. God damn it. A very frustrating fight. How are you going to get back up to 20? You can get back up to 30, for God's sake. That regen was absolutely clutch on the part of the altar there, unfortunately. Welcome. Oh, boy. I eat gnomes. Thanks for the prime. Brand new sub. Welcome into the pile. I believe Pud just subbed as well. Thank you, Pud. Appreciate the support. Welcome on in. Oh, this has gotten so shitty all of a sudden. How the... Oh, God. Oh, I hate this fight. I hate this fight. This is... Everything has gone wrong in this fight. 
That's not going to help. But obviously, moving him really didn't do much there for us either. It's got to be a withdrawal, right? Oh, boy, I hate this. I eat gnomes! Holy cow! The brand new sub and the first time gift are dropping a 20 bomb on us. Thank you. Bear hugs, bear gifts. Very kind. I appreciate that a lot. Okay. That's the confidence boost we needed, baby. Let's go. Get the execute. That was the pivotal moment where things turned around in this combat. Now we're going to be on cruise control, baby. Although I did just fuck that order up again, didn't I? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to use this leper again in this fight. Oh, what am I doing? I mean, I actually might... Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Who knows what lurks in the beyond? Oh, boy. Owie, 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 owie. Okay, hold on. we got to start bolstering, man. Oh, I should have defended there. Fuck. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He might AOE again. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up bad. Oh, God. Why? Pull him forward! Oh, my lord. All right, that does at least enable that. Actually, that did help a lot. Okay, yeah, no, I appreciate that. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is going to have to be the play, isn't it? What the hell, man? How are you still in rank three? How is that still happening? How is the entire party order just so botched right now? This is insane. Look at their tokens. Dude, this is so ridiculous. Oh, I hate this. Yo, Rav, Mish, thank you as well. Welcome on in. Appreciate the support. Wow, I'm getting my ass handed to me here. God, you need to get the fuck out of the front rank. I don't know how you're still there. Stop it. Knock it off. And yeah, we'll take a little bit there, I think. He's still got the, he's still got the region, you're kidding. Oh, the regen. The degen regen. I hate this absolute madness of but it's just madness. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good day. It does, doesn't it? I really like it. The room looks nice, she says. I agree. It's a nice room. Well, goddamn, ain't that another kick in the pants, huh? Regen from up country is very good. Fucking hell. Don't you dare worship again. You. you piece of work. God, this has been a nightmare. Why is that bad for you? Why don't you like that move? You're in the wrong, Plague Doctor. And you need to apologize to the rest of your comrades here for your mistake. How the hell do we end this fight? This is absurd. How did this go so poorly? Get me out of here, for God's sake. You gotta, you gotta stop. It's, it's her fault. That's, <laughs> that's, that's abundantly clear now. This entire fight was actually her fault. I really wish she'd get her act together here. Just go ahead and take a step back. Let the big guy handle this, okay? It was what we brought him for. I don't know why you keep thinking you need to be in the front rank. It's not where you're at. There we go. See, somebody's got their act together today. Thank you, Pawn. Eh, no blind there either, though. Not the taunt for it, at least. He's gonna need one more bolster. Get that death armor out of there. One more battlefield medicine. One more bolster that's on cooldown, but that's fine. We'll wait it out. An interminable conflict. 
Or just kill him. That'll work. Get me the hell out of here. Goddamn. Round 11, for God's sake. Even the big ones. Oh, bueno. Oh, snap judgment, though. Might have been worth. Kind of a dark impulse for that guy, though. Which I'm pretty sure I dumped it. Oh, well. Right. Region complete. Trophy acquired. All that's left to do is to hightail it to the mountain. Does that mean I'm Batman? I feel like Batman wouldn't have to ask that. There are yet places such as this. If they did, they'd be a pretty bad a Batman. Light still gathers. Evasive leper, huh? That's pretty sick. Damn, dude. Evasive and bloodthirsty. Did lose Braggart, but I think I'm okay with that. Every road a winding torment. Batman. Every turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bent on our destruction. Back to the shroud simply for the cosmic curiosity of trying to get a bunch of stuff. The shrouded benefits. coast. Isolated. And drowning in amphibious degeneracy. Got our merchant's guild seal here. Gonna go ahead and fix up that coach. Repaired and refurbished. Ready for the leagues ahead. Take a look at the gear here if I want to grab any of this stuff. I don't think I do though. Yeah, no sweat. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. Do I need wild tea on anybody? Oh, wait, no, I didn't lose Braggart, obviously. Yeah, he still has a negative quirk. Uh, Resolute would be pretty nice to get rid of, but I don't necessarily want to get rid of any of these. I don't have any whiskey barrels or anything like that either, so it's not a big deal. Got a couple of flasks, a bit of though. comfort on the road to damnation. I have enjoyed using the wax inoculant lately and just popping it when I get it, so we'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, we have a big pig this time as well, which is awesome. Getting the good food coming into here. Don't have to spend any money on that, which is always nice. I think we just go ahead and roll the dice on this again now. Everybody's in a pretty good spot with the relationships. That feels pretty good. Very friendly is above zero, at least, so we'll work toward that. Work toward it, anyway. Come on, now. Come on, now. Thank you. One more with the Jester Man of Arms. Lovely. I know Plague Doc's got a little work to do, but at least she's not neutral anymore. And yeah, that's everybody in a pretty good spot. Cool. Save the last one, save all this shit. Mastery points. Experience, however painful, is the greatest teacher of all. Then using withstand a lot. We'll go that route. We'll finally get the defender upgrade here. We'll get the strategic withdrawal upgrade here. I'll take the noxious blast upgrade as well. I feel like I've been doing that every now and then. And solo for the dodge plus. Nice. That's us in a pretty damn good spot. Okay. We have a lot of relics and bobbles still. And what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. Huh. If indeed it ever did. Might as well take advantage of the poetry discount, I guess. We have a ton of inventory space, too. I might as well get all this shit. No reason not to. We'll get the songbook here. We'll get the poultices. Yeah, that's pretty good. Might as well get the discounted food, actually, too. Let me know if you're going to have steak and spuds in the next place. Let's get some smoke bombs here. Get a scrap grenade. I'd have a scrap. A couple of laudanum. A couple of stimulants. Yeah, we got all the space in the world right now, man. Let's take advantage. Cool. Okay. Eh, I feel like I might as well get the wild tea, too. You never know. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Might hit a hoarder. See if we can find another use for these baubles down the road somewhere. And respectful. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. Retribution strength, though, because it's not bad. At least it's not negative. It's too bad you threw away the Shroud Almanac. Yeah, but, you know. Propriety floats listless on the tide. 
grind in noxious degradation. Thou hast becometh a hoarder. I have kind of taken on that role for myself, haven't I? All right, I guess I gotta go to the hospital and get rid of this fucking leprosy. I don't really care about the region goal, do I? Yeah, I don't really, really need to worry about that. I'll just take studies if they look like they've got some decent reward potential, like a Shambler altar, for example. I'll probably go for that. Portrait up there as well. There's a watchtower on this right side. There's an oasis right before that as well. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't mind taking some extra fights in this region either. I feel like these guys can handle it pretty well and can it's still benefit from the uh, good, but do it quickly. extra mastery points here. Chaos must be met with unwavering resolve. Yeah, I've been actually kind of trying to build toward that lord. I wasn't sure if it was a myth or not, the uh, the mountain almanac. The bonus you get for equipping all four at the same time. I'll go ahead and take your word as confirmation for it that it is actually a thing. Your collection can wait. Press onward. One of these days we'll knock that out. Come on, guys. Where's your fighting spirit at? You rely on the leper for everything. Genuinely sounds like playground myth. Yeah, that's why I'm still doubting. Even if Shuffle said it, man, I don't know. That absolutely sounds like you can find Mew under the SSAN kind of stuff. Although obviously that is a real one, as everyone knows. Not allowed to lie about Pokemon. It is on the wiki. Okay, that that feels like some effective confirmation then. Um. Okay, so we mostly just want to clear some dodges and block pluses here. I think and that's going to be a perfectly good application of a combo up front there. Doesn't have the speed this time, but we could maybe go ahead and take a chance on that. Oh, nice bragger taunt there, too. I'll take that. Owie. I need to get a defender going on her, too. Yeah, this evasive is going to be outstanding for him. Don't like that very much. I'll take the pip, though, certainly. Oh, my God. He did a chop that didn't kill him. Are you okay? What happened? I think I broke the leper on accident. Nah, that's unfortunate. Finale time. Booyah! They falter, so press your advance. All right, there you go, bridge time, buddy. Come on up now. Hmm. It's bolsterable, I guess. Yeah, it's probably time to do that, yeah. Another benefit of the guard there, huh? Now I need to clear that block too, damn. Owie. That's fine, that's fine. We got more blight coming in. Crit for seven with a blight for five on the position is really good. Like, really good. Like, how? How are we doing that? I guess those trinkets are helping out a lot, huh? Well, not really. That's just... Wow. Goddamn. I didn't realize she still had that kind of damage potential. Cool. And another mastery point. Nice. See, that's why we take them. That's why we listen to the leper. Should be too surprised to learn they know what's up. Travel without proper reconnaissance. A hasty and reckless thing indeed. Clothing's still under control just fine here. We're going to be heading through that middle route. Nice resistance. Love to see it. Take the bread too, I guess. Up through the watchtower, through the academic study, through the unknown, into the Shambler altar, off to another assistance encounter, and that ought to pretty much do it. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think this might apply to the whole team? No, just him. Just a worse stress heal. 
for the special encounter is weird, but all right. God, look how crazy I go with it immediately as soon as they take away my inventory restriction. If only that were always the case. One of my last memorable runs had a breacher head injury flagellant. Pillaging One of those bridges, things is not like the other. Enriching themselves as the world collapses. Okay, this definitely feels like a starting finale situation. There we go. I'll take a pip from that. All right. Oh, tuckered out as a negative quirk. That does make a lot more sense now that you put it that way. So I guess it was my stupid fault for choosing it. <laughs> I did think there was maybe a chance that it would apply to everybody, though, but I guess that would probably look a little different, wouldn't it? All right, I guess we'll save the combo target since he doesn't actually need it here. That's not bad. A resounding response. That seems like a, a, a helpful amount of damage. And let's go ahead and defender you. How you feel about another one? Yeah, that'll do. Give him a taunt, too. Why not? Quick dodge of the attack. He's just a monster right now. Oh, I could have even patched a line and made it a perfect play for him. Like the full sweep. Oh, this might even be better, actually. Uh, no, here's what we do. We take this corpse out. And then we've set it up perfectly. Bravo, bro brother. Well done. Take heart and do not relent. Yeah, it would be pretty cool if the Oasis removed the Tucker Dog quirk, wouldn't it? Didn't even think about that. That'd be kind of OP. Although it would make perfect logical sense, which I'm always in favor of over, you know, maybe balancing things. If you, if you hear the the combination and think to yourself, well, yeah, that obviously that would work that way. That's probably not a bad idea. My goodness. Hey, Breacher kicking in now. Nice. Yeah, they're going to get to get everything in here, unfortunately. That's a speedy lot. Thankfully, not a knockback on that one. I never remember if that actually does do a knockback, though. If this is a dodge... Okay. I was going to say, I might take a chance on trying to get rid of that with the finale right away. Um, so here's where we would normally command. He does have the linens, thankfully, this time. So I think I'll just go with the retribution start so we get the strength token on him. Um, let's go... Hmm. I guess just start a blight here, right? Yeah, that's fine. And then I think we fade to black. Because I think without, or like having to get through a uh, block there, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to get through that one. So let's just try to make as quick work out of this guy as we can. One vulnerable. Ooh. Oh my god. That's an insane amount of damage off the spawning ground. Holy cow. Okay, and then we want more strength up front. We want to fade to black on the front line. The slow what suffering the begins. fuck? Oh my god. What is happening here? Holy shit, dude. I can't heal. No, I can't. Oh, thank God for the spring water there, Raoul. Well, that is a... Howling mind. That is a miraculous result from that. Okay. Um, oh, God. That shuffle again, man. So frustrating. Um, all right, let me think this through. So we got to get the Plague Doctor into at least rank two. That happens via the solo. But that means the leper is out of position, but he can still withstand, which is good because we need taunt to prevent the ranged attacks from going to the man at arms. Plague Doc, I think, took their action already this round, though. Oh my god, and that caused another bleed on the man at arms, of course. Alright, well, he is at least off of Death's Door here from the spring water. 
Might as well go ahead and do that, I guess. Yeah, I'll take a pip out of that. Heal for 13. That drive back the darkness. Not bad at all. Okay. Good. Good. We're fixing this. We just can't... Man. Oh. 40% crit chance, but it's not going to be able to kill. Man, how is this not enough? Damn it. I actually, I think he's going to be okay. Oh, why did I do that? That was a waste. Oh, well. Hmm. I still have a taunt. Ah, well. Never mind. Okay, please be nice. Thank you. Thank God. Yeah, I really didn't play that right. Took way, way too many chances with this dude. Uh, Defender's certainly not going to work either here. I can kill this guy. That's probably not a bad idea. All problems have their solutions. Even the big ones. I have got to find a way to get this Plague Doctor out of the front rank again, though. Solo, really not a great idea. I think we just got to do this. Stop bleeding them, for God's sake. The hell out of here. And then we'll just have to bolster, I guess, for the block plus more than anything else here, right? I guess we could try the rampart kill. Hey! That'll work. Certainly unexpected. Um Jesus, just move. At this point I'm pretty sure I should just give the plague doctor the incision. Despite the uh, blight situation, nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Let's take a look at her skills again, though. The loathing whispers. We would be giving up mag rain, probably, which I definitely don't want to do. That, yeah, I think we have the right stuff. It's just we get really screwed over by a shuffle for her, from her to the front. Just got to keep that in mind. There you go. Have some, well, let's actually get the herbs in there. I think. Give the left or give the jester play out her battle ballad. I really don't want to do that either. I feel like all five. I mean, encore. I guess we haven't been doing a lot with. Maybe we could do a play out. I think the battle ballad's more helpful though. Yeah, encore hasn't gotten a lot of use. We'll try that out for a bit. Okay. We arrived at this watchtower. Beginning to think it's maybe not even worth it to go for the Shambler coming up here. All kinds of limits. That's nice. I don't think Razor's Wit is useless. I feel like the combo application from that is, even though it's not happening a lot, I think I'd rather have that than the Encore, certainly. And I mean, God, we could just go for a cash here. Of the Shambler altar, but it's very likely will be our final chance for any mastery points as well. Yeah, it might be worth it just for that. Yeah, I guess I'm not going hospital, am I? I don't think I even got a hospital in this region unless there was one on one of those mystery notes back there. Rummage through the shelves, laden with echoes of indistinct ideas. Play some decent ooh, death secret work, although that might have replaced something better, unfortunately. Copy positive token on hit. Interesting. Death Seeker. I don't remember what he had. Nice resolute chance bonus, though. What are we doing here? Hmm. They could repair. They could repair the coach on the left, which we kind of need. I want to avoid a repair pipe going through the, the wheels there too. has rendered reality once more. Oh, yeah, actually, a hoarder's not a bad idea either, is it? We have a lot of stuff right now. We got a ton of baubles in particular. Primeval, water worn monoliths were flung up from the ocean floor by some unaccountable tectonic action. 
No, we can't go hoarder though, because that would max out loathing. I have to take a chance on the carriage lamps there, and I don't really want to do that. How much food do I have? Oh, I've got plenty. I don't really need that. Oh, God damn it, man. kind of wish I could have just avoided this. I guess I could leave. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I guess we're going Shambler then, huh? Another chance at a mastery point from the road fight. We're going to max the loathing if we go any other way, so... So be it. This is Act 5, so... Chapter 5, Despairing Flare. Oh boy, Warlord chance here too. I had a feeling. I had a feeling right after I said it. The war is lost. Yet the warlord fights on. All right, man. Here we go. I think we're ready for this fight. I think our team's in a pretty good spot for it. Go ahead and defend her right away just to play a little more cautiously and then. He's comboed already, so we can go like that. Yeah, no spike barricade either this time, which is nice. Does mean he's going to be getting a lot more strength tokens, though, unfortunately. Not blocked for the first chop, though. That's a good start. That'll help. Hmm. Oh, right. Great. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. And let's burn him. Kick ass. Uh, retribution? Strength token up front. Bye. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Just beat the warlord's ass, dude. This was easy. How the hell did this happen? Bolster him up, man. The battlefield medicine up in there? Round three, Warlord. That is insane. <laughs> we got our version of the, co the Collector is a hard fight here, yeah. Oh, man, that's wild, dude. Whoever has problems with a Warlord, just bring a Leper. It's easy. All right, now we just move on to the Shambler, knock him out real quick. Not a problem. A little help impeccably timed. Oh, you want one too? No, you sure? Come on, it's fun. Your big brother liked it. It seemed like he was a big fan. Give it one more try. I promise you'll like it. Just let him chop you up a little bit, okay? Give it a go. See? It's a good time. I enjoyed it. Hot damn, dude. Securus as well. On killing blow, all allies behind gain strength. That's pretty fun. I don't know if that's going to be better than the leper's current trinkets, but that is a fun one. The loathing of Oh, yeah. Better than the seaman's boots for sure, dude. And then this, honestly, is pretty damn good for the man-at-arms, too. I hadn't even really thought about it, but with the retribution going, he can benefit quite a bit from that. Oh, right. Snap judgment, too. I completely forgot. I'm going to find a dark impulse, dude. That would be really nice on the jester. Okay. 
Chandler time? After that Warlord fight, I'm certainly feeling a lot better about it. We got milk-soaked linens to fucking spare, man. On them here, too. He's a Death Seeker. <laughs> I love that. Death Seeker says there ain't no fucking way we're passing up on this. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, let's see. I like Scrap Grenade a lot here. Pouch of Lie doesn't really help that much. Let's go with the Incendiary Cocktail. And let's do Full Herbs, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, you know Let's do some Stimulants here. That's a good idea. That'll help. For the content, baby! Let's go! We tread beyond the realms of reason. Oh, he gets a, he gets a crit start, huh? That's interesting. Ah, uh, this is gonna put the goddamn Plague Doctor in the start. I forgot to shuffle my party up a little bit. That's probably the way we want to start anyway, though. Ah, oh, boy, all right. Let him, let him have it. Steady yourself. Let him have it. And that's not gonna do a lot, is it? So we probably just gotta go ahead and shuffle back. I'm getting a lot of crocodilian damage out of that, at least, right? Yeah, might as well do this. Retribution hits, steal some positive tokens from the Shambler. Stand time. Alright, so we just desperately need the Plague Doc to go first, which of course didn't happen. Uh, so, well now I guess the Leper's going to be in the front too, so that's pretty good. I can just kill a Shambler spawn, that's not bad. Okay, okay, I can accept that. Ah, no dodge plus, though, damn. Hmm. This is still good. I can defender her up there, actually. Still gets a dodge off that, really. That fucking blows. All right, you need to stop cho or you need to start chopping things up up here. There we go. The Securus actually getting the benefits from the tokens right away. That's pretty awesome. Get another milk-soaked linen in there and keep getting those tokens for the team, dude. Yeah, there we go. That's giving us something. This is going horribly. <laughs> the fucking Plague Doctor in the front, dude. That's literally all it is. It's like, that is... Unbelievably bad for us. Anytime that happens, it, it, it makes all of the difference. And now I absolutely wish I still had the Encore here. But we are thankfully able to do, to do that finally. Thank goodness for the Defender there. I have not done a point of damage to the Shambler. I think this one's going, going south real fast, man. Eh, might as well try this. Hey, at least that landed. Okay, that feels pretty good. He's already emboldened here. I can't get any blight on the Shambler, so eh, I guess I better do that. That's something at least. And then we gotta get her back into the third rank. That's not gonna help things. I guess I can fade to black now, though. That's not bad. Blind on him will help out a lot. We'll get it anyway. There we go. All right. Let's see here. I guess we just keep chopping, don't we? Still doing pretty damn good. Getting a lot of tokens out of that, too. Hmm. I guess we just keep passing, huh? That blight is insane right now. I think we might want a battle ballad just to enable the battlefield medicine here. Keep him alive. Stun combo here is tempting as well. I guess I can't stun them though, can I, damn it? Um, I mean, this is something, but I don't really want to do that either. This is looking really bad all of a sudden. I guess defender is really good for the lock plus up front. Days ain't bad either, I guess. This is where you'd badly wish we had our battlefield medicine upgraded as well. Self-reliance is a rare and all right. He's probably thing. dead. 
Wow, okay, that's a pretty clutch dodge there. Slash blind. Um, I think we just go ahead and try to get rid of the new clapper claw here. Jester, please. Oh, baby, that's pretty big. All right, buddy. You still need a battlefield medicine, so we'll just let that happen here. Um, solo for dodge plus makes a lot of sense. And then I can retribution again. I might actually be able to get some leopard damage off for once. Still off Death's Door. Retribution on cooldown, sadly. Fuck you. Dragged back from the brink. Mm -hmm. Did you go to the front one time, you asshole? It's like he knows I have a leper up there waiting for him. Just stacking the blight like a fucking madman right now. Yep. Sweat soaked brows. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. I mean, if he never wants to go to the front, that's gonna just cause incessant issues for me, unfortunately. Let me stop that guy from getting a crit off right now. We do have a taunt up front still as well. Got that last battlefield medicine as well. That's bad news. Let me get this at least. This is the leper almost certainly having to do a solemnity here, though. The fact that it's getting the dodge, not only do we have this to copy positive tokens off hit, but also we're hitting him, so you would think that would clear the dodge off, but no. Apparently not. Battlefield medicine as well. This is a terrible situation. Maybe he will finally come to the front. And he will finally cooperate. Cool, man. Hey, that's something. Oh, but I'm fucked. Lapper knocked to the back. I am utterly boned. It's just ridiculous. I can't even move him because the plague doctor's in rank two again. It's a rare and wonderful thing. This was just not a fight the game wanted me to win. Apparently, just kidding. I just have to be doubtful. This is all it ever takes. Just express some level of doubt. And then they'll give you some false hope and then immediately punish you for thinking you had a chance. Oh, I still can't do that. That's right. Well, you here, you go ahead and be resolute real quick, too, if you don't mind. Yeah, literally can't move him back because of the positioning right now. How the fuck, dude? Oh, my God. All right. Well, obviously can't do anything about that either. Blame game. I will blame the game. You'll deal with it, damn it. Get the hell over it. Once again, that's a lot. On that terrible precipice. That thing does have plus 350% damage, so I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? That checks out. God. Yeah, it's about time. At last, the battlefield has claimed its due. I don't know if it even would have mattered, man, if we had gotten a single advancement the entire time he stayed in the back. It was as though he was actually playing around the presence of this leper. Just insane. Fight through the fatigue. All right, try again here. That's pretty lucky, at least. Not lucky enough. Cord is struck. Man, that's stuff. That's such a bummer, dude. A slow dissection. 
an unavoidable end. Naturally, now he would advance. You fucking asshole. You absolute asshole. So now it looks pretty safe. A wash in turmoil. Ridiculous. Let's hope we can maybe trigger a resolute there for fun. I mean, unfortunately, we really didn't have a choice here either. Like, actually didn't have a choice. The game said, well, if you're going toward that shambler, you're fighting that damn shambler. You better get used to the idea, buddy. All set back. Nothing more. Mm-hmm. Keep coming up here, buddy. Let's see what we can do. I don't know if this solemnity is going to do a lot for us at this point. Might as well go all out. <laughs> yeah, give him a crit. He deserves it. This is no time to falter. Come on, then. We got places to be. Right. Another wound. So be it. Another loss. Party wipe. Knowledge and experience. Twin yardsticks of progress. There's a lot of candles at least, right? Feels decent. Well, another run, another failure. Such as Darkest Dungeon 2. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll have another go at this one next time, most likely. Back to chapter five. Maybe not so keen to take on those shamblers so quickly, but we'll see. I, I, I don't even I didn't believe myself for a second when I said that. I'm sure you didn't either. Please leave a like on the video though if you're enjoying over on youtube.com slash bear taffy. Appreciate you watching over there. Thanks for the support. I'll see you in the next one.